Hello everyone, Louis here. Let's talk C sharp. All right, let's talk about methods. What are they? Methods are procedures that are programmed to perform a task, and in C sharp, they have to be declared inside a class. Something I should clarify here, because a lot of people seem to get this wrong, is that methods are not functions. A function is not a method. These are very different things, so don't call your methods functions. They're not. Technically, a method is an object-oriented programming concept. A method lives inside a class. It's part of that class. It's a class member. Functions, on the other hand, do not live inside classes. Functions are standalone procedures that live outside the domain of a class. In C Sharp, all methods have to be declared inside a class. That's just how the paradigm is designed. Remember, C Sharp is primarily an object oriented programming language, so our procedures are called methods. Now, when you look at languages like C, there are no classes. There is a similar structure, but it's not a full fledged class as observed in object oriented languages. In C, you would call procedures functions. Also, there are languages that offer both options, like C and JavaScript. You may or may not define classes in that context, depending on a few factors. With those languages, you may have functions and you may also have methods, depending on the design pattern. Okay, so now that we know what methods are, why do we need them? We use methods to encapsulate functionality. Here's an example. In my person class, I'll declare a new method. Public void speak. Let's take a look at that syntax. Public, well, we all know what that does. It ensures that method is available outside of this class. I can define private methods too, of course. Usually though, private methods are helper methods that we can use to encapsulate sub procedures and in general, organize our code a little better. Then I have this keyword here, void. What's that? That is a keyword that we can use when our method does not return anything. It just carries out a task and does not return a value. And finally, there's my method's name. I'm calling this method speak. So in our program, we're creating person objects that represent virtual people. We can now call this method and have people speak in our program. Well, for that, I'll have to go back to my method definition and say console.writeLine blah blah blah. Now, if I go back to my good old friend, the main method, I can say me dot speak. Look at that. Now, notice how the speak method is called from that person object, me. The speak method attaches itself to objects. That makes sense. After all, it is a non-static method. And if I run this, it works. If you ever wondered how video game programming works, well, there you have it. I could have a method here, jump, or shoot, or duck, or move, and have a character do all sorts of crazy stuff on the screen. Now, something I should say though is that we should never call console right line inside of our classes. The reason is, our app may or may not be a console application. And if it isn't, the console right line isn't really doing anything. In this video though, I do want to keep it simple, so it's fine, I can get away with it today. Now, I'll stop here for now, and if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help. In the next video, we'll talk about static methods. I'll see you there.